In today's online world, security is paramount. One method to protect yourself is through the use of two-factor authentication, or 2FA, or multi-factor authentication, or MFA. GitHub supports the use of 2FA to help protect your account. Unfortunately, the added security adds complexity in how you can work with GitHub through external systems. This video shows you how to work with GitHub in ServiceNow when you have two-factor authentication enabled for your GitHub account. While it is not within the scope of this video to show all the steps to set up 2FA, if you do want to configure it, go to your profile, go to Settings, and you go to the, under personal settings, go to security, and under two-factor authentication, you will have a button to set up two-factor authentication, and you can follow the steps to configure it from there. Many systems that work with GitHub do not have additional support to prompt for the additional two-factor authentication steps. They just ask for username and password to integrate with GitHub. So when you have two-factor authentication enabled, you need to create a token that is used in place of your password. This token is configured with specific limited capabilities with respect to your GitHub account. To create the token, you start out in these settings. If you need to get there again, it's just under your profile settings. Once you're in the settings, go to developer settings and then go to Personal Access Tokens and generate a new token. Now in this token, you want to give it a descriptive name. What is it used for? You could call it Repo Access. And you want to select the scope Repo. This will grant access to your private repositories to read and write access to the, your private repositories uh, through the use of this token. Now that we've got this, let's generate the token. And it is important that you copy this token now and save it someplace safe as you will not be able to use it again. I am generating this temporary one that I will delete after this recording. I'm going to copy the token. And then the way you use it in the studio is when you are connecting to your source control. You put in the URL that you're accessing, put in your username, and you put in the token that you received there. If you have a password manager, that's a great use of the password manager to save that token for reuse, for reuse in your different application building endeavors. Now, when you connect to a repo, uh, you'll have that more secure setup. And with that, I bid you happy, secure app building.